Migrating to Australia and Canada is not hard as you think. The Visa Center makes things easy for you. We offer different pathways. Student Visa, Tourist Visa, Permanent Residence, and Work Permit with PR. What separates the Visa Center from the rest? We are giving you free consultation and assessment. We have competent immigration consultant who will guide you all the way. Flexible payment schemes. Transferable application with no expiry contract. Our delighted clients who are now in both countries can vouch for our brand of service. The award we received this year is a testament of our passion and commitment to serve you better. And because we want to serve more people, we now have seven branches in the Philippines. Cabiao, Nueva Ecija, Lipa, Batangas, Santa Maria, Bulacan, Gapan, Nueva Ecija, San Fernando, Pampanga, Ortigas, and Santiago, Isabela. We also have offices in Dubai and Abu Dhabi. The management's commitment to provide excellent service spells the big difference. The Visa Center can make your dreams a reality. Call us now! The Visa Center offers you the opportunity to study in a multicultural setting. Discover the Australia Student Visa Pathway. Open to international students from the different parts of the globe. Why study in Australia? You will obtain a world-class education. You can work part-time during studies and full-time during breaks. You are eligible for a post-study work visa upon completion of your study. You are eligible for the overseas student health coverage. You have the opportunity for permanent residency. You may include your family members in your application. Your partner can work while you are studying. When it comes to student visa pathway processing, the Visa Center can make it happen for you. From the detailed assessment to the processing of the required documents, our consultants will guide you all the way until your visa will be handed to you. If you want it safe, easy, and fast, call the Visa Center. We have office in Abu Dhabi and Dubai. You can also visit our seven branches in the Philippines. The Visa Center, towards a brighter future. Okay, hello guys. Good morning. Ayan, isang magandang uh, umaga ayan, sa lahat ng mga viewers natin and lalo na po sa mga sumusubaybay sa atin dito sa The Visa Center Live. And good morning po sa inyong lahat, sa lahat po ng mga viewers natin dyan from the Philippines. Yan, we have, we are actually live po to six of our branches. Yan, hello po sa inyong lahat. And of course, sa ilan ng mga nanonood, ayan, na na-share po natin sa ating Batangas branch. Yan, good morning po sa inyong lahat. And of course, maagang-maaga pa po kasi dito sa Dubai. Yan, sa lahat ng mga viewers natin from Dubai and Abu Dhabi. Good morning! Yan, so another day naman for us to introduce one of our school partner for you to get to know more about them. Diba? Lalo na po kung ano yung mga programs na ino-offer nila. And I just like to share this guys ha. Yung school partner na makakasama namin natin today is one of the most affordable school in Australia. So this is the right time for you guys if you are just deciding which school are you going to enroll. Okay? So Like I said, this is very affordable. They are offering a very affordable tuition fees. So you have to watch. Okay? And uh, you have to stay uh, during the presentation because at the second half of our Facebook Live, magkakaroon po tayo ng question and answer. So our special guest today will give you all the answers that you need, di ba? If you have some clarifications pa, if you have some informations that you need, to know from our school partners in Australia, then this is the right time. Well, just to update you guys, marami sa mga uh, naging clients natin, they are really now looking at 
studying as an international student in Australia is because it's really affordable. Second is near in the Philippines. Our time zone, di ba, hindi siya nagkakalayo, right? And at the same time, syempre, uh, we are after with how can we support our, our studies. So Australia is still one of the best or has the highest minimum wage in the world. Yan. So currently we have 50 plus viewers. So I will just give more time for our viewers to join. Yeah, we understand that we actually invited a couple of our customers who already like uh, communicated and checked with their profile and eligibility from our consultants. So we are also sharing guys our contact details below dyan po sa ticker natin. Ayan, so hintay pa tayo ng ilan sa mga viewers natin. Ito, we are, we have actually viewers who are not Filipino. Ayan. Anyway guys, to all non-Filipino viewers, you can directly message uh, our team to whatever Facebook page or branch are you watching right now. Like I said, we are offering free assessment and consultation. So we will be checking your eligibility, checking which pathway is perfect for you as per your future plans. So, alam naman natin na when it comes to studying, di ba, uh, kapag nag-aral ka talaga sa Australia, it worth it yung, ano, no, yung investment. It's simply because by just studying there and if you have the diploma, di ba, you, you will have that internationally recognized qualifications. So, ito yung advantage. This is for your personal gain, di ba, for your profile. If you are looking at, let's say, applying for a higher position or, of course, uh, receiving a higher salary, then better to have a great education talaga. And of course, Australia is offering that. And ito, we just like to acknowledge some of our viewers from the Philippines. Ayan, mag-comment naman kayo, tell me if which part of the world are you right now. Diba? So dito meron tayong viewers from, uh, from Quezon City, Philippines, Henry Laron. Marinas, ayan, good morning po sa inyo from Dubai, ayan, good afternoon dyan sa Pilipinas, ayan, alam natin, ano, malapit na ang Valentine's Day, ayan, baka atabayanan nyo yung mga promotions natin, uh, dito po yan sa The Visa Center. Okay, so check lang natin. Okay, so ito guys, ayan, thank you so much of course to everyone who are starting to, to tag their friends and sharing our Facebook Live. We have here Desiree. Hi Sir Juni, watching from Gapan City. Nueva Ecija. Ayan, sa lahat ng mga kababayan natin dyan and mga clients ng uh, Gapan. Ayan, good afternoon po sa inyo na miss ko yung Gapan ha. And of course, Cabiao, Nueva Ecija. We have two branches guys in Nueva Ecija, so we have Gapan and also we have Cabiao. Ayan. So, uh, so I think we need to get more. Can we have like 70 viewers first before we start our presentation with our special guest? Okay. So ito muna, before, before that, I'd just like to share muna sa mga viewers natin. What are the advantages, guys, of student visa or international student visa in Australia. Okay, number one, um, as an international student po, you will just be reporting to school, di ba? Mag-aaral ka lang na two to three days, yan. And then the rest of the day, in a week, you are allowed po to work. Okay? So yun yung kagandahan nun. It will really give you enough time to study and focus dito sa iyong program na napili. And second, it will also give you enough number of days to earn, de ba, to support your, your studies, to uh, to have a budget for your uh, stay doon sa Australia. Kasi nga, like I said, Australia still has the highest minimum wage in the world. So, titingnan natin, alam ko yung pinakahuling checking yata natin, it's around, is it 16? Ayan, parang tumaas na yata siya eh. So, may ilan mga student tayo doon na they're saying na yung income nila before, part-time pa lang po guys ha, 
nagdo-doble or nagtitriple na ang kinikita nila compared to sa full-time job nila before. So I think I think we have to educate yung mga parents no, especially those who has kids. 'Di ba na pag-graduate na ng high school, yung K to 12 kasi um I think this is also a very good ano option para sa kanila. Okay, kasi imaginein mo ha, if 'di ba mag-aaral lang din naman yung anak mo sa college and you need to spend like 100,000 or more, 'di ba? Imagine kung mag-aaral sila sa Australia. So, while studying, guys, they are allowed to work part-time. So, yung kagandahan, no? so, while working there, syempre, no, they will gain a lot of experience, diba, from may work experience na sila doon, uh, syempre, mas mahasa yung kailang English skills, which requirement po kasi later on for permanent residency, uh, dapat medyo pasado tayo sa sa IELTS or English uh, testing uh, English language testing uh, test syempre nakakailangan yung uh, i-avail din yan so that can be your option okay so like i said studying in Australia guys has two advantages number one is for your personal educational attainment it can help you with your profile but it can also give you a opportunity no na ma-qualify ka for permanent residency then why not The visa center, guys, is equipped with knowledge then uh, in helping you to check your your qualification for permanent residency. Diba? We have so many applicants already for permanent residency in Australia. And I think one of our advantages kasi nga, uh, the visa center kasi meron tayong uh, business partner no, na nakabase talaga sila sa Sydney, Australia. So, our school partner today is also ano then from Sydney. Ayan. So, this is actually good news. Alright? Ito na. I think yan na yung numbers natin. Ayan. So, yung mga late tuners na lang natin, ayan, we will just request them na they can just rewatch later yung presentation natin. Okay. So, let's introduce our special guest today. Yeah, ready ba kayo guys? I, I need comments. I want everybody to ano to react. Yeah, para mas maganda yung ating uh, Facebook live. Kasi nga we're doing we're doing this guys to actually introduce our school partner, also to update you of what are maybe some changes or ongoing promotions or let's say is there some uh improvement or dagdag na mga programs na ino offer nila because sometimes we like the school, but how about the program? Is it fit to your profile? parang isa pa yung makakapagbigay ka ba ng justification, di ba, na why are you going to take this program? So, yan naman yung expertise, syempre, ng the Visa Center. Ayan. So, ito na, let's introduce our guest for today. Uh, our school partner will be Western Sydney Technology College. And our special guest speaker, we have the International Marketing Manager, Dr. Hussein Khan. Well, Doc, ayan. good morning from Dubai. Hi. How are Hi, you, Doc? Dubai. Thank you for joining today. Thank you, my dear friend. I'm fine. Thanks for asking. And how are you? Hmm. I'm doing good also. I'm excited for this segment. It's because, you know, with our recent situation in Canada, there are so many uh, international students who are planning to study in Australia. So, ito guys, I'll just to update you po, Uh, the what is this? Just for what? This is good, especially to those who already attended our assessment and consultation. Uh, Western Sydney Technology College, guys, is at level two. It means, uh, Dr. Hussain, so when it comes to qual uh, to requirement for uh, IELTS, uh, are you still requiring that for Filipinos since you are at level two? Uh, this is a uh, very uh, interesting question. Uh, IELTS uh, is uh, one of the things that makes a student get benefited of the market. Look, mm. if I'm applying for, not it's uh, we think that it's for the student visa, but uh, when, once we are here, then we will start exploring job for a market, uh, market for mm -hmm. jobs. Mm -hmm. So at that stage, English is required. If I have English, then I can get better employment opportunity and I get better pay. Mm -hmm. 
So you are recommending so, that all the applicants should take an IELTS. At least they can use that to, they say, to be an international student at the same time for applying for a job since they are allowed to work part time. Yes. Uh, so for us, uh, we need IELTS. That is a minimum overall 5.5. Mm-hmm. At so least five point five. At least five point five. This uh, will help the students to get what we call good uh, uh, opportunity to secure best employment offer, and they will be not exploited in the name of a uh, language, mm-hmm. because uh, students are residing to what we call uh, Australia, Sydney. So when mm-hmm. they are here, they get employment offered. So even language plays a great role in securing professional jobs. Mm-hmm. So you know it also reflects the package the students get. So if the student has English, a holds IELTS certificate, not less than five point five overall. So you know mm-hmm. they have a secure future. So before coming, if uh, we self secure, then you know Australia. Is a land of opportunities. True. Okay, and of course uh, we have so many students already who went there as a student. Then later on, they actually got a very good job offer. And then uh, the quality of uh, of life in Australia is also waiting for them because you know we have some clients who are already sharing their uh, videos in Australia. Imagine that they are work, they're studying, they are working. They also got to enjoy. Australia, okay. Australia is actually one of the biggest country in the world because it's one country, one continent, right? But yes, look, before we proceed with our presentation, uh, talking about some changes when it comes to immigration qualifications, something like this. Is there something that you want us to update uh, before we go with the presentation? Yeah, uh, we can have that. These updates are only for betterness of the students. Okay, that's English. Good. Please note English and uh, savings. Mm-hmm. Savings of funds are two th- two uh, what we call requirements that the student has to fulfill. This is is for your security, so that you mm-hmm. should not get exploited once you land here, because two okay. things English makes you what we call a, it's a weapon for getting best job and financial status will secure you to search better employment opportunity. Mm-hmm. Okay. So if you have these like two things, mm-hmm. go ahead. If you have these two things, then you know you can search jobs. You can explore, enter Australia, get good mm-hmm. jobs, and this is just a beginning. If I am safe, mm-hmm. if I have funds, then I can live in a better accommodation. I can complete my sure. study hazardless. Mm-hmm. So we should be. We, uh, we will not depend upon our parents back home. We will be financially independent. And once we are here, to be honest, Mm -hmm. Australia is yours. All right. Yeah, true. Yeah, for the opportunity, Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, uh, to make the opportunities, we should have something that why we are the best. So these two things, if we have English, then we are the best of the best. And if we Mm -hmm. have financial status, then we can mm-hmm. afford the living, living cost in Australia. Then I should prove myself with only these two things. Rest, to be honest, we have 100% successful rate in Philippines. And mm-hmm. uh, we have staff from Philippines who are working. Mm-hmm. And my friends, my colleagues, you know, they are from Philippines. They are studying mm-hmm. and they are earning. Mm-hmm. All right. So that's true. Okay. okay so before we jump... Yeah, before we jump with your presentation, sir, I'd like to play one video, guys, for all of you, for you to have an idea who is Western Sydney Technology College. Yeah, so at least just to give you uh, some inspiration yeah, and uh, also to give you time to tag or invite your friends to join our Facebook Live. So I'm going to play this video first.
Okay, I think we have some problem with our connection uh, right now. But don't worry, I'm gonna play that later, guys. Ayan, so uh, I apologize for the for that for the signal. But anyway, uh, Doctor Hussain, if your presentation is ready, so I think we have to move to our presentation now. I'm gonna share yeah, your screen. Okay, so I will leave you the floor, and then I'll come back for our Q and A. Okay, you may proceed, Doc. Start. So, welcome uh, to WSTC Western Sydney Technology College. Uh, Mr. Malik Ibrahimi earned his bachelor's degree in information technology from Charles Stott University, the CEO and the founder, and experience in IT professions specializing in Microsoft Realms of Programming and Deliver, a former MCSE and MCT, therefore, Microsoft. Certified trainer with over 26 years of experience, Mr. Malik Ibrahimi has a global mission to provide students with the opportunity to engage in life alternating education that will allow them to better themselves, moving on more significant opportunity. Over more than 22 years of extensive experience in information technology training for corporations, WSTC staff have been trained students at international and domestic and corporate levels. Over 1,000 plus students graduated, 100% job ready programs, 98% successful job placements, and trained over 2,000 corporate clients. RIT programs, ICT 60220 Advanced Diploma of Information Technology, ICT 50220 Diploma of Information Technology with specializations in cloud engineering, advanced network engineering, cybersecurity, and so on. Let's come to Diploma of Information Technology, ICT 50220 Cloud Engineering. Students enrolled in this specialization course will gain the required skill area to create cloud services that any modern businesses need. This cloud engineering course will equip the students them to build, implement, and manage cloud infrastructure and virtual network. Job outcomes are Azure Administrator, Consultant, Architect, Cloud Security Consultant, Infrastructure, and Cloud Solution Designer, Cloud Engineer, DevOps Engineer, Manage and Implement Cloud Infrastructure, so on. Now, let's go for Diploma of Information Technology, ICT 50220 Advanced Network. Students enrolled in this specialization course will be able to get strong base of advanced networking, how to configure and manage virtual computing environment and security within ICT networks. Jo job outcomes are IT or network administrator, IT operations administrator, network service administrator, network support or security coordinator, network operation analyst, network e-business coordinator, and infrastructure leads. Then let's go ahead for Diploma of Information Technology in cyber security. Students enrolled in this specialization course will develop the foundational skills to promote workplace cyber security awareness and best practices, as well as designing systems to prepare for and respond to cyber security threats. They will learn the skills and knowledge to protect sensitive data and information through security architecture and develop disasters, recovery, and consequence plans. The job outcomes are cyber security specialist, cloud security analyst, firewall engineer, cloud security architect, CT security specialist, IT security administrator, and so on. Now we have advanced diploma of information technology, ICT 60220, telecommunication network engineering. Students enroll in this telecommunication network engineering specialization will learn how to manage logistic, organizational, 
specifications, regulations, and legislative requirements across network projects. The job outcomes are network administrator, network architect analyst, network consultant, network designer, and manage. Sorry. Yeah. Then let's come to a diploma of information uh, technology, ICT, backend uh, web development. This qualification reflects the role of an individual in variety of information, communication skills, roles who have established specialized skills in technical ICT functions. Students enrolled in this backend web development specialization will acquire the skills to develop and maintain website information architecture and data the job outcomes are ph developer database administrator analyst and designer and uh, mysql administrator and big data analyst now let's go for diploma of information technology front end web development students enrolled in this specialization will develop skills and knowledge to design dynamic complex website and user experience solutions and uh, documents using extensible makeup languages they will be able to sign build and manage website as an independent web developer or a part of the team the job outcomes are web developer consultant analyst designer software developer stock full developer website a designer ui and ux user experience designer designing dynamic and complex website and maintaining them now, apart from IT, we have uh, non-IT courses that are business courses, BSB 60120, Advanced Diploma of Business, BSB 50120, Diploma of Business. Here, Diploma of Business. This qualification reflects the role of individuals in varieties of business services roles. These individuals may have frontline management accountabilities. Individuals in these roles carry out modernly complex tasks in a specialized field of expertise that require business operational skills. They may pose sustainable experience in a range of settings, but to seek, develop their skills across the wide range of business functions. Now, job outcomes are the entry-level positions in business administration of various enterprise or industry, senior administrator, office manager, small business operator, any role in office administration, environment, setting up or managing their own business. That comes to advanced diploma of business. This qualification reflects the role of an individual in varieties of business services role. These individuals may have general management accountabilities. Individuals in these roles carried out complex tasks in a specialized field of expertise. They may undertake technical research, analysis, and will often contribute to the settings, the uh, strategy, direction of a work. This qualification is suited to the person who are responsible for the supervision and leadership of a team or a work area, including by managing staff, performing and making staff decisions. So the job outcomes are work as a team leader or supervisor in various business industries, business administration role, any role in an office, administrator, environment, setting up or managing the own companies or business. Now the job opportunities, nine out of 10 outcome uh, job opportunities will necessarily post graduate students and vocational education and training. Therefore, VET is a crucial avenue or to secure job employment. This was posted or announced on 26 August 2023 by the Minister of Education. Then uh, the entry requirement, uh, the minimum entry requirement, a higher secondary certificate or uh, 10 plus 2, that is 12 grade uh, education complete. Uh, second thing we need is minimum IELTS, that is 5.5, Pearson's 42, TOEFL IBT 46, TOEFL BPT 527, or Cambridge, that is 47. The age requirement is minimum 18 to 26 years. The technical requirements for IT are minimum criteria for computer and computer applications, computer with internet access, Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Acrobat, 
a reader and DC. The job, uh, what uh, the intakes we have is for January, April, July, and October. January intake is about to complete. The next intake we have is for April intake. Now let's come for uh, tuition fees uh, for uh, Diploma of Information Technology. Uh, it is for uh, 76 weeks. 76 weeks is equivalent to one and a half year. So the tuition fees is uh, 12,530 Australian dollars. And diploma, uh, sorry, advanced diploma of information technology. This is also for 76 weeks. 76 weeks is equal to one and a half year. The tuition fees for a whole course is $12,530. If we calculate it yearly based, so the fees will be for uh, IT, therefore information technology in diploma or advanced, it will be approximately $8,500. And next comes business, uh, diploma of business, it is 52 weeks duration, therefore it is one year, one month. So the tuition fees is 8,250 Australian dollars. Advanced Diploma of Business, this is 52 weeks. So the tuition fees here is 8,250 Australian dollars. Next, these are our testimonials. These are our students, Diploma of Business. You can see Mr. Howard, she is from Philippines. Amina is from what you call Indonesia and uh, Mr. Uh, Noor. Shahzad is from Pakistan. You can see these are a few testimonials, uh, testimonials which we have received recently. Uh, these are our short, co uh, short courses, uh, Microsoft Azure, Microsoft Visual Studio, Office 365, Windows Server 2019, Microsoft SQL Server, Microsoft Exchange uh, Server, Microsoft SharePoint Server, Microsoft System Center, and so on we have. Next comes the most important thing is uh, how many hours do a student should uh, study weekly? We have 20 hours regular classes. This uh, is per week. And maximum is 30 hours a student can study, which combines both of lab and what we call work assignments. You can see here, Monday, Tuesday from 9 to 5 p.m., we have a regular classes. On Thursday, we have lab that is from 9 to 5. Next, this is our location. This is a campus. You can see you can see our campus here. You can see this is our campus, and we are located here. This is Parameter. We are so uh, we are our official uh, official address is what we call Suite Five Zero One Level Five Westfields Office Tower One Five Nine One Five Seven Church Street, Parameter, New South Wales. My dear friends, you are coming to New South Wales. We are located in New South Wales, and New South Wales is the fourth safest city in the world. This was published in Forbes 2023. New South Wales is the Asia, uh, it's the Asian Pacific zone, sorry, in Asian Pacific region, New South Wales is the largest IT hub. It is a home for ICT employees in entire Australia, where in, Aust in New South Wales, Australian government is investing in IT projects. This is going to bloom the what we call IT sector indirectly and directly promoting the employment opportunities, therefore generating the employment opportunities. So this is a good opportunity for the students who want to what we call study IT here. And next come to what we call Look, I'm comparing the two things. Once you come here, so you can see where are you going. You're going to see the New South. You're going to Western Sydney Technology College. See the location. We are located in New South Wales, which is in a, which is a hub for IT, and it is the largest what we call IT, what we call center for uh, uh, many companies. It is a headquarter for that, as well as main number of what we call opportunities waiting for you. In Asia Pacific region, it is the largest hub for IT. So look for IT students, there are a number of opportunities. Then come for business diploma. You can come here for CDP. Sydney, you can see here this is a tourist hub. Just from new over from Parameter to Sydney, it is 20 minutes by tram. And this is a hub for tourism. Here the students who are engaged in business diploma course they can have the business here or can enter into what we call employment in management level so this is a good opportunity for the students who can who wish to study who are aspirant to study in australia with us so here i rest if you have any questions please do share them 
Okay, thank you so much, sir, for that presentation. Uh, okay, I, I think we have some uh, couple of inquiries and, and questions here already. So, sir, let's talk first about the qualification because you mentioned about the age. You are accepting minimum of um, 18 years old to 26. So how yeah. about more than 26 years old? What will be the condition or arrangement that we can do? In few cases, we do accept if their students are what we call having uh, more than uh, 26 years of age. But for as for mm -hmm. the students who are young, there are higher opportunity of, uh, opportunities of getting visa grants. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is perfect. Yeah, so this yeah, is, please. yeah, it means that this is perfect for those parents who have their kids uh, that were that are graduating this year uh, from K to 12 because you know at least they have that option of studying in Australia plus the opportunity because earlier you you in your presentation you will just be attending school for three days correct so like two uh, is it Monday and Tuesday and then the rest is like laboratory yes it's Monday Tuesday and Thursday the students will attending the school from 9 a.m. Uh, to what we call 5 p.m. Uh, it's approximately eight hours. The total duration they can have um, not more than 30 hours per week. Mm -hmm. Okay. So in all of your programs that you're offering, so most of the programs are one year and two years course or programs. Yes. Mm -hmm. It is okay. uh, so IT program. I'm sorry mm -hmm. to interrupt you. The IT programs are for one and a half year, 76 weeks. Mm -hmm. And the business program is for one year. Mm -hmm. And you can see the affordable fees also. The fee structure is uh, for IT, which is for uh, 76 weeks, one and a half year. So the for mm -hmm. total uh, course of the fees or total tuition fees is 12,530 Australian dollars. Yeah, so, so that's really affordable. Yeah. yeah, yeah the, the so that's 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 that. Yeah. It's Australian dollars. Uh, so second thing is, uh, we have uh, six installments. We can uh, six provide uh, installments. Six okay, installments. So it's like this yearly four installments for uh, it is one and a half year score, one and a half year course. So it is six installments every three months. The student can pay the fees. Mm -hmm. But for the payments, sir, uh, the, for the payment, uh, do they have to pay for one semester or two semesters just for them to get enrolled? Yeah, for getting the enrollment, they can pay for one uh, semester. Mm -hmm. But of course, guys, uh, you have to avail our free assessment consultation because our team are also uh, checking uh, your application for your visa. So there are some times that our team may ask for at least pay for the one-year tuition fee just for you to get a better approval rate of your visa or student yes. visa application. Yes, yes, okay. yes. Because presently they have changed. They're asking for many documents. So we should get prepared for having at least pay complete course of fee. Please note this, whatever the tuition fee is paid, that is refunded. Mm -hmm. Okay. But now talking about, uh, let's say, uh, intake, because you mentioned earlier that you have so many intakes available. But... Uh, there are some cases that, you know, uh, visa application might be delayed or, well, unfortunately, sometimes get refused. Uh, are you allowing, like, uh, intake, uh, let's say, deferral of their intakes just in case there are some delays? Is there, is it free? Yes. Defer their intakes yes. or are you yes. charging? Yes. First thing is, uh, we, uh, what we call, uh, we encourage the students who, if in case visa is refused, they can mm -hmm. apply for reapply for the visa grant because visa refusal is not the seal or ban on any student. It mm -hmm. is just for well, by the mistakes committed, whatever they have uh, committed, the mistakes, whatever it is underlined, you can recorrect that and reapply for the visa. Yeah, that's correct. Okay. Now talking and here about... Case, mm -hmm. Sorry. Go ahead. If, in case, if in case the intake, let's say now January intake, the students are applying for April intake. Maybe uh, due to the uh, prolonging the visa process. So what we do mm -hmm. is we can defer the intake. Mm -hmm. And it's free of cost. Deferring is free of cost. The student can defer the intakes. No hassles in that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have some comments from our viewers. Nonski Burgos, uh, she's saying, I'm interested. How to apply? Uh, how to apply, guys, is we are sharing the contact number of our branches. 
uh, better to message them on Facebook if you are watching them uh, via Facebook. You can directly message them, inform them if when is the date and what is the time. Best for you to have the 30 minutes or 45 minutes uh, assessment, uh, eligibility checking. Yeah, so that list they can give you guys the right pathway uh, for you to apply. It. Also, we have viewers from Abu Dhabi. Yeah, and people now from Abu Dhabi are awake or maybe they are, uh, what is this? Uh, they, uh, it, it's their day of today. So Alex Twain, thank you so much for watching. Okay, Dr. Hussain, next question is talking about job opportunities because you mentioned from the last, last part of your presentation. So how can the school support or assist your international students for any job opportunities? This is a brilliant question. Look, mm -hmm. job opportunities, assistant, assessment from the college side is a part. But please note, as I have highlighted, that New South Wales, you're coming to New, where are you, where the student is coming? They are coming to a location in Australia. Mm -hmm. You see the potentiality of that region. It mm -hmm. is... It is the largest IT hub in Asia Pacific region. It is a home for a number of IT companies. Mm -hmm. If you please, uh, uh, if I, can I share my screen? I will show you the job opportunities right now. So we can uh, we can log on. Uh, can I? Uh, if yeah, you allow go ahead. me, I sure. want to share my screen. It's not about this. I want to take you to the on field, the potentiality of the job program uh, or the courses. What we are providing. For the jobs i mean what courses we are providing the potentiality the reality what i was discussing in my presentation i would like to share show you or uh, share you the slide uh what we call the website it is a uh, live even you can also uh, what, what you call log on sorry uh mm -hmm. enter what we call uh, www.seek.com.eu and you can mm -hmm. start searching for what we call uh uh, the job programs, what I have said, look, it is for cybersecurity analysis in what we call Sydney. Right now, they have opportunities. Mm -hmm. Right now, they have opportunities. I can, uh, can I, can I share my screen, please? Can you guide me? I want to share my screen. Yeah, uh, yeah. it's yeah, yeah. a moment, please. Okay, yeah, want... can you do that? Okay, all right. So, while waiting for that, guys, of course, we understand that, uh, whether this Western Sydney. Technology College, guys, is a school or educational institution. So, of course, their focus is more about education. But Dr. Hussain is just helping, <laughs> uh, just helping us but by saying that their location is really good since, you know, if you are looking for a part-time job, job opportunities is there. Okay? So, I think uh, I'm just checking yeah. if you are can sharing you, the screen. Uh, can you see my screen? I can see the screen, but it's showing our live. Yes, it is showing our live. Please have a glance. Yeah. Please look. Can you see this? Now? Not yet. It's showing the same uh, screen for our, for our live. A moment. OK. Okay, but anyway guys, based on experience, ayan sa lang mga dating mga clients na po natin na nasa Australia na when it comes to job opportunity, you know, Filipinos are helping each other. So if you have Filipino classmates, definitely can they would recommend screen, you. Yeah, I, okay. I, I, can, I can see it now. Okay. It's showing yeah, now, sir. Mm. Yeah, it's uh, seek.com.au. Mm -hmm. You can see a cybersecurity analyst. Mm-hmm. And these are the employment opportunities. You can see cyber security engineer. Look, the thing is what they're asking for. It is in New South Wales, where we are located. Look, uh, you can see the employment opportunities, cyber security, newly tech uh, people. The job pay is, uh, uh, it is approximately 120K to 150K per annum. Plus super. Wow. It's an extra additional salary. Is This is just latest what we call job. There's no times here just recently you can see uh -huh. the requirements you know where they are requirements it is the thing they need the little experience you can see here 
yes. IT security analyst. It's in Melbourne. You can see here. Now, just two days back, this job was posted in Reliance World, Queensland, two days ago, cyber security. Jobs are yours. The end number of jobs is follows you. And apart from this, you can see cyber security analyst, junior SEO analyst, cyber security, Melbourne, you can see here cyber security. This is Sydney, and you can see here one to uh, one not eight k plus eleven percent super. Let's have a glance. Let has a let have a glance. Let's go inside. Click it. It is like that. Uh, sorry, it's like this that uh, we teach uh, students how to fish. We do not feed them with fishes. Uh -huh. Here, there, this is a land of opportunities where the student can have a good job himself. He is coming to a place where you can see the uh, the roles requirement. Okay, so please start for our viewers. Can you see this, please? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can see here uh, job roles. Please have this glance. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not to what we call uh, demotivate anybody or say something wrong, but please have a glance. Job requirements. You can see this is full pay, uh, full uh, what we call a uh, flat job. Mm -hmm. Here you can also uh, apply them directly if you have a what we call a. Uh, if you meet the requirement you see here please you can see here can you see here is there anywhere they are asking for, for any specific qualification like bachelors you got me you need a requirement of minimum that is diploma as a certifications your role as uh, the position of cyber security analyst will be will see you conduct regular security assi assignments. You can see here, your duties, you can see you have it. Uh -huh. Here, just you need minimum skill. You need just a technical skill, you can see here. Uh -huh. A little experience. Here, qualification has no space. I mean, no uh, uh, bachelor's, no master's, no PhD. The thing is, Australia needs skilled students. You got me. If you have big uh -huh. experience in IT, then, you know, jobs follows you. You can see the website, seek.com.eu. I'm not a promoter, sorry, but for showing you the land opportunity this is one of the what we call website that is uh, uh, commonly used in Australia you can see IT system mm. administrator you can see okay so it means sir, that you most of your programs are really in demand in Australia so this is a good opportunity for our yes. international yes. student you can see here you can see mm. the you can see the job payment it's not less than what we call one one ten it's approximately mm. ten thousand dollars per month uh -huh. And you see here, as I have discussed you, New South Wales, it's uh -huh. an hub. You can see it. Parameter, my locality. Uh -huh. So there are a lot of job opportunities in, in yeah. the area. Yes, you can see, you can check it. I'm taking different uh -huh. side of what we call senior system uh, engineer. You can see it's not Sydney. Uh, uh, Sydney, New South Wales, 19 days mm. back, 10 days ago. Look, three days ago. Let's change the sequence. Uh, for this, my system is a bit slow. I think it's... Uh, yeah, that's okay. Okay, at least they can see you now can that see currently, when it comes to demand for work uh, by choosing your programs, it actually gives them more opportunities. So you are actually, guys, um, 
at least uh, be enrolled in, in, in this school plus the programs. Uh, there are job opportunities waiting for you afterwards. But so the question is, let's say, for our students, they're going to study for one year, one and a half or two in Australia. So talking about, uh, let's say, uh, after graduation, so the school can also like support our students uh, who graduated from your school to get a, let's say, subclass uh, 485 or something like that. Look, getting uh, the this is uh, completely depends upon the students. First thing is uh, yeah. they has to pass through the immigration, okay. have a strong profile, have a good uh, what we call if they have some background in IT that is going to be an edge. To be honest, mm -hmm. jobs are not and what we call uh, jobs are not what we call as we think that we need job assurance from somebody. But no need mm -hmm. of job uh, assurance in that place where the abundance of job opportunities. Mm -hmm. The only thing is we need skilled. If I'm mm -hmm. a skilled student, then job visa is yours. You prove what skills you have. We make statement mm -hmm. of purpose. We show our experience. But we should highlight the skills what we are. If mm -hmm. I'm unable to know, if it, if we were not known previously, until unless I do not introduce what we call WSTC and the potentiality of the courses, what WSTC holds, you are not aware of that. WSTC, mm -hmm. there are thousands of institutions across Australia, but this is a potentiality. Look, affordable fees we have. The programs right. are recognized mm -hmm. by Krikos. And these programs have good potentiality in the job market, in the real market. Once you yeah, land here, within yeah. A, yeah, yeah, within a short period, within a short period, you will be getting jobs. Job, mm -hmm. it is not about the assurance of the job. You should demand mm -hmm. how we should present our profile, how we should complete what we call uh, uh, the student visa uh, process. We should enroll in that. My target first for me is completing my ICT uh, program. If I have skills, mm -hmm. my skills are enhanced, my skills are updated, my skills are sharpened, then jobs follows you they knock the door i have shown you the mm -hmm. website seekaustralia.com once you enroll uh, once you upload the profile there with the qualification from wstc you may believe or don't believe they will ring you they will call you my friends as i have discussed you i have friends just they are studying on they are studying they came recently they have completed what we call not even completed the course they are getting job mm -hmm. what we call offers wow that's good so not issue job is not the issue mm -hmm. the main issue is do i uh, do my skills are eligible do i am eligible to what you call land uh, in what you, uh, what you call it, have a letter of offer from wstc how can mm -hmm. i make myself a potential candidate for the visa grant here mm -hmm. previously maybe still now also we think it's a student visa please note we do not want students sorry to say skilled students we need because everyone has the uh, skills but what we do is we do not highlight them Take out your skills, show them, highlight them. What can you do? Mm -hmm. If you highlight the skills and if you present your statement of purpose, once you get the visa grant, job placements is not an issue that you can get automatically. Mm -hmm. That's okay. happening here. It's the it's the reality of the it's reality of the land. It mm -hmm. is a hub, it is a home, it is a land of opportunities. And okay. So it means that you know uh by by studying in western sydney technology college guys so the school will help you to be skilled and be ready for a job opportunity waiting for you especially in paramata so that's actually very good i think we have some more questions from our viewers so let's talk about because we already discussed about job opportunities how about accommodation there are some uh our filipino applicants who doesn't have any friends or relatives uh, in your uh, in Paramata, so any support from the school? Although we understand that you know uh, most of our applicants, while they are still in the Philippines, they could really already search for an accommodation in Paramata. So any uh, support uh, when it comes to accommodation? My dear friends, no need to worry about accommodation. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe in the uh, in the starting, I have said you we have a good success rate, hundred percent success rate in Philippines. Mm -hmm. One one uh, when it comes to the uh, what we call accommodation, we have staff. I oh, mean okay. to say staff. Our staff is from Philippines. Mm -hmm. You know, if you have your own countrymen there, then they looks for everything. So this yeah. is for additional information I'm giving you. I'm sharing you. We have excellent staff, a caring mm -hmm. staff. They will support you. 
apart uh, as of accommodation no needs to worry once you have a visa grant we will pick up you from the airport we will arrange you accommodation don't worry about that okay just have a visa and just inform us when you are landing send us mm -hmm. your ticket then we'll arrange everything because in advance we don't know what is uh, after two or three months we cannot book it just if you have 15 days before if you start your journey do you offer yeah as i said you we is look do you offer uh d uh z d yeah, effort yeah, up. as i said you just drop your visa ticket uh, just drop your ticket we'll pick up you from the airport mm -hmm. okay so now guys it, it's very clear okay so for our viewers you are looking for a school that has a good um programs that has a job opportunities demand after graduation then you are in the right school right now second of course you are considering about tuition fees and tuition fee is really affordable imagine it's only just twelve thousand australian dollar and we have six installment option okay so that's actually very good also for uh, for our, our cover buyance and then when it comes to student support they are helping you guys from uh airport pickup to helping you looking for your accommodation plus of course the the, the place itself uh, uh the, the place itself is actually a good place for for you guys to get a part-time job while studying now talking about uh, here's another question uh i think Oh, wait, just for a while. So this is how much the initial tuition fee to get a COE and how about with my partner? I'm a student. Okay, let's have the this question first, uh, Doc. How much is the initial tuition fee needed for 2, them to get this? 2,500 Australian dollar. Yeah. All right, that's very affordable. I only mean, for your affordable. students, only for, for the students which are coming through you, but honestly, it is like this. The student has to try to complete the uh, try to pay a course complete course fee that is eight thousand dollars. It's not big, or it's not too big. Mm -hmm. uh, it's refunded. Don't worry, mm -hmm. it's hundred percent refunded. Don't worry about that. The money is required. It's uh, the much money you show, the more money you show in the letter of offer in the confirmation of enrollment that will boost your financial status. That will show your financial mm -hmm. status. True. Okay, another question is from Joanna Solbita. How about with my partner? I am a student. Maybe just asking about work. So if they're going to, let's say, uh, go with their partner in Australia, so as an international student, your partner may also work part-time, okay? But the only option that your partner can work full-time in Australia if you are going to take, let's say, his master or master's, master's, something like that. Yes, right? yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. But we have no objection for that, that a student mm -hmm. can apply for the partner's visa that is done uh, through the visa center. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. I think my, my last question, sir, thank you so much. I think the presentation is already well uh, uh, completed uh, information that all our viewers might need. But of course, guys, to our late tuners, yeah, feel free to watch our live again so that you can start the presentation you know, since uh, Dr. Hussain started introducing the school, the advantages of the venue, of the location, plus, of course, uh, what will be, uh, let's say, the tuition fees and the requirements. So try to go back later after our Facebook Live so can you, you will also get all the information needed. But of course, since we are offering free assessment and consultation, you can directly contact our team. Yeah, and if you are already with uh, our sales, uh, with our uh, consultant, you can go back to them and start your application. As far as I know, we still have ongoing promotions for the month of January. Because it's already January 27, so ilang araw na lang, end of the month na. So you have to avail that. It's so, Doc, I mean, yeah, my last question uh, uh, before we end our Facebook Live is, you know, uh, when it comes to choosing your program i just wanted to highlight about your uh business management course so when it comes to do you have like a profile qualification for this that specific uh program or it well, is open to everyone yeah it's open to anybody it's open to everyone the thing we need the student interest he should complete mm -hmm. the minimum requirement that is higher secondary uh, certificate and have mm -hmm. minimum 5.5 you should see me you should justify or the student should justify 
why he wants to study IT or why he chosen a diploma of business. Similarly, mm-hmm. should be justified. Everything should be justified, even if the gap, the student should justify that. Mm-hmm. That's true. So it means that if you are fresh graduate, guys, I think there will be no question anymore. So to those parents who have kids like they are graduating of K-12 and they wanted to continue their college uh, or to start their college in Australia, of course, no need to justify why are you going to study there because you, know, right. you just have to, to explain why this program. But for our uh, Kababayan who are working abroad who has longer years of work experience already, they just need to give a justification why are they going to take diploma of business administration or why IT. So don't worry, guys. The Visa Center team will also going to help you the last, when it comes to that requirement. I'm sorry to interrupt you. Last but the least thing that I would like to highlight about the accommodation, uh, you mm-hmm. have highlighted about the parents whose uh, uh, kids are just from fresh uh, graduate students completed mm-hmm. uh, 10 plus 2 and just they want to enter into a new world. We assure you of complete what we call uh, uh, assistant from ourselves. We are going to mm-hmm. provide you airport pickup and what we call 100% uh, accommodation arrangement for your students. Mm-hmm. And please note, our place uh, parameter is uh, crime free, as mm-hmm. I said to you, and it is from it is uh, uh, highlighted by Forbes 2023 that uh, uh, Sydney is the safest city, fourth safest city in the world. It's not only in what we call Australia, but when compared to the global uh, scenario, we are the fourth safest city in the world. So mm-hmm. your child is coming to a safest city in the safest hands, and there is a land. It is Australia is a land of opportunities. Number of uh, opportunities are waiting for your students we through uh, the visa center ready to support you anything feel free to text them write to them and please free feel free to express your needs and ask them for support and we are ready to stand with them we are committed to serve you all right thank you so much uh, dr hossein khan international marketing manager of western sydney technology college thank you sir for giving us time today and hope thank to you. have you soon thank you so Looking much Looking forward to meet you and your students there let's have a cup of coffee soon sure sure thank you sir thank you bye bye take care bye okay, friends bye-bye. Okay, so yun na nga guys, ayan para sa mga viewers po natin, ayan, lalo na sa mga late learners po natin dyan, make sure lang guys to watch our Facebook Live again. At least para mas makilala nyo po ang Western Sydney Technology College. Kasi nga, ah, syempre, sino ba ang may ayaw mag-aral sa, sa Australia, correct? Because, you know, especially if you are our regular viewers, ayan, aware naman kayo na as an international student, ang dami po talagang benefits kasi imagine, Mag-aaral ka na sa Australia, di ba? May diploma ka na sa Australia. Pero you, you will go to gain a lot of things. Number one, job experience. Number one pala muna, diploma. Di ba? Talking about diploma or certificate, kapag nakapagtapos ka ng pag-aaral mo sa Australia, it can actually bring you anywhere. Correct? Second, syempre nandun na nga, since you are allowed to work part-time, magkakaroon ka ng experience talaga doon. And then at the same time, well, alam naman natin na mga Pilipino pagdating sa trabaho, eh talagang ano yan, number one. Diba? So, there are some cases that maybe during your international student uh, time, your employer might going to absorb you, diba? Kasi sabi nga dito sa kwento kanina ni Dr. Hussain na may mga students sila na hindi pa nakapagtapos. Okay? Inoofferan na sila ng mga gandang position sa company. So, Eh, tayo pa bang mga Pilipino? Magpapaiwan doon. Okay. Next, uh, ano pa bang mga opportunities na pwede maghintay sa atin doon? Ito nga sinasabi natin, ano, yung opportunity din na because of this diploma and job experience and employer waiting for you, eh, it can also help you guys to qualify for a permanent residency. Di ba? Mas madami na ang benepisyo mo talaga kapag naging permanent resident ka doon. Kasi you can bring your kids, di ba? you can bring your partner or your spouse, your kids will get free education, at madami pa pong iba, okay? Again, ulitin lang po natin, if you wanted to avail our free assessment and consultation to check your eligibility, to know which pathway is fit or perfect for you, then tawagin nyo na po ang Davisa Center, Okay? So, ito may mga ilang comments tayo dito. 
Yan ang pahabol natin. Yan. Um, is there such thing as, sabi nito ni Dave Lentz, is there such thing as special visa for Filipina to travel to U.S. for special event? Uh, bakit U.S.? For us? Okay, hindi ko siya naintindihan. Ulitin ko. Is there such thing as special visa for Filipina to travel to U.S.? Ayun. Sir Dave, unfortunately, uh, we are not offering that services. Yan. Uh, pero kung, kung, if you are just asking for a tourist visa, well, our team can help you with that. Okay? Yan. Better, Sir Dave, to message our team so that they can assist you with your tourist visa uh, requirements. Okay. So, yun guys, ayan, maraming maraming salamat sa lahat ng mga viewers natin na tumutok mula sa simula ng ating Facebook Live up to the Q&A. So this is good news. Ha? Ayan na. At least, di ba, nalaman na natin, very affordable ang, ang mga kababayan natin na into IT or into uh, business management. Ayan po, ito yung school na pwede namin i-recommend sa inyong lahat dyan sa Australia. Okay? So, like I said, be one of our successful applicants. I-avail nyo na po ang aming free eligibility assessment and consultation. Ayan. All right, so, so do we have more questions from our viewers? So far, sa ngayon wala na. But if in case, guys, na may mga follow-up question pa po kayo, then ayan, kausapin nyo na po yung team natin. So ulitin lang po natin, we have branches in Bulacan. Ayan, uh, we have uh, in Batangas. We have in Pampanga. We have in Ortigas. We have in Gapan, Nueva Ecija. And... Uh, Tawag nito, Cabiao Nueva Ecija. And of course, nasa Isabela din po tayo. But of course, sa mga kababayan naman natin na nasa Middle East, meron po tayong branches sa Dubai at saka sa Abu Dhabi. Okay? So yun guys, medyo ano, no, uh, light lang ang ating conversation ngayon. At least nalaman lang natin na yung school partner natin, eh, talagang yung, yung student support na binibigay nila is nandun. So sa mga parents dyan na uh, maybe first time, na mag out of the country ang kanilang mga anak at mag-aaral, di ba, sa Australia, then don't worry po. Kasi nga, syempre, the visa center is there, plus, syempre, ang South Sydney Technology College din. Ano naman kami dyan eh, ito yung kagandahan po sa the visa center, we are not just offering student visa and we'll just apply to you to anywhere. Di ba? Ang ginagawa po ng the visa center is we are really partnering with schools in Australia. Okay? So talagang we are communicating directly to the school. So talagang kung lahat po ng information na dapat nyo malaman, ay po sila na mismo yung nagsishare sa mga viewers po natin. So transparency po yan. Okay, we are making sure, making sure po that every Saturday sa ating Facebook Live, nakakasama natin yung mga school partners natin. At saka syempre nakakapagtanong kayo, di ba? O nare-refresh kayo sa mga information na sinishare nila. So, when it comes to studying in Australia, guys, ayan, trust no one, okay, but the visa center. Kasi nga po, when it comes to your documentation, ayan, uh, we are directly working hand-in-hand -hand with our school partner in Australia, okay? So, ito na maraming maraming salamat sa mga viewers po natin today. Ayan, medyo wala lang tayong pa-contest. <laughs> ayan, Uh, kasi nga naghahanap pa tayo ng mga sponsor. No? But of course, thank you so much po sa inyong panonood. And we hope guys that you like our Facebook page. May mga, may mga special live tayo. We are interviewing some of our approved clients in Australia and Canada. At least, you can also learn from them based on their experience. Diba? Kasi like si Kabayan Rico, may mga special segment po tayo ng live natin. Na yun nga, kinakausap natin yung mga approved clients natin na nasa Australia na at sa Canada and they are sharing their experience. Diba? They are sharing kung ano yung ginawa nilang proseso and at ano yung mga uh, mga ma-share nila mga tips sa inyo kapag kayo na rin yung nando na sa Australia or nasa Canada. Okay? So I think that's all for now guys. Maraming maraming salamat for watching po and enjoy the rest of your Saturday. And so we will have this video yan bago po tayo magpaalam. Ayan. Thank you so much. And God bless everyone. Bye! Migrating to Australia and Canada is not hard as you think. The Visa Center makes things easy for you. We offer different pathways. Student Visa. 
tourist visa, permanent residence, and work permit with PR. What separates the visa center from the rest? We are giving you free consultation and assessment. We have competent immigration consultant who will guide you all the way. Flexible payment schemes. Transferable application with no expiry contract. Our delighted clients who are now in both countries can vouch for our brand of service. The award we received this year is a testament of our passion and commitment to serve you better. And because we want to serve more people, we now have seven branches in the Philippines. Cabiao, Nueva Ecija, Lipa, Batangas, Santa Maria, Bulacan, Gapan, Nueva Ecija, San Fernando, Pampanga, Ortigas, and Santiago, Isabela. We also have offices in Dubai and Abu Dhabi. The management's commitment to provide excellent service spells the big difference. The Visa Center can make your dreams a reality. Call us now!